Okay, next thing. Let's just take some color. I'm going to take this piece of paper. I'm going to just tilt it a little bit. I'm just going to come over here and get some color, some paint. Uh, this is phthalo blue, unimportant what color it is. But I put it down, and I do a little section of the painting, and I, uh, okay, well, I like that. And here's, uh, here, let's turn it this way. Got a nice little, nice little blue going. And I go, you know, I don't really, that's not really what I had in mind. I don't want it to be that blue. I, I you know, it's, uh, now that I look at it, I think it should be more green. Um, so let's just take a little bit of green, a little bit of sap green. How do you correct that color right from the get-go? Well, the, if it's still wet, all you do is just come in and wet it down and change it, okay, and change it over to green instead of blue. And so, boom, we had blue, and now we've got green. They want a little bit more, uh, maybe a viridian green, okay, that's fine. You come over here, you add some uh, phthalo to that and make it a bluer green. Um, you still want to go a little bit more yellow, no problem. You come with some yellow paint, get yellow paint, wet it, and bring in some yellows and go that direction. Um, pretty much at this stage, while it's wet like this, you can come in and do anything you want to it. And in fact, if you decided, you know, I don't like that, you know, not only do I not like the color, uh, but I don't even like the shape that I've done so far, you can come in and just squirt the whole thing and wet it down, and boom, you're right back to white paper again. So it's important to understand that in the early stages, when you lay color down, now this is while the color's wet. What I'm talking about right now is while it's wet. But as long as that paint is still wet, you can either go in and change it, or you can go in and just get rid of it and start from scratch again.